Hi everyone, welcome back to this series of Emmy Broker tutorials and videos. We're actually moving on from the Emmy Broker basics at the moment and moving into the arena of trading systems. Now, probably one of the best ways to get ideas for your own trading system is to look at other people's trading systems. And so this is one that I created myself. Um, it's based on a moving average channel, but it's not your regular moving, moving average channel. We code it a little bit differently and I'm going to show you how to code this trading system in Emmy Broker as well. Now the results have been very good over the last 23 years and I'll show you those results as well including drawdowns and everything like that so you know you'll get all, all of those statistics. Um, nothing is perfect so uh, as with any trading system it has its flaws. With this particular one uh, the entry and exit signals I'll just tell you really quickly it's based on a 170 day moving average which is the middle line there and then 10% above is the um, is the top channel so the entry is 10% above and then the exit is a close below the um, the 170 day moving average there as well now the benefit of this system is that it has you know when it has winners it has great great winners so it, it has the potential to ride those winners all the way until the end of the trend as you can see it closes below that uh, that 170 day moving average right here. So that's a very decent trend right there. Um, the downfall is that it has a lot of small losers in between. So typical of any trend following system, it has a lot of small losers and then a few really big winners make up for those small losers. So um, we'll, we'll show we'll talk to you more about that as well. Um, you know, nothing is perfect and you have to take everything you know, with it, with its caveat, you know, with a grain of salt. Um, one of the other benefits is that because the the stop loss or the exit si signal is quite close, the potential risk so between your entry and your stop loss is quite small. So looking at that, that's your potential risk entry and stop loss, and then as you can see, it moves up one, two, three, four, four, five times that potential risk over the course of that trend. Um, and yeah, so four or five times your risk in a medium to long term trading system is quite decent as well. So let's get into the details of how to code this particular system. Um, first of all, in Amy Broker, we go to Analysis and we go to Formula Editor. And uh, that brings up our uh, blank sheet of paper so that we can code these things. So what we're looking for first is we want to create something, uh, a price that's 10% above the closing price so that that will give us our upper channel for our moving average. Um, moving averages of course are done with MA and as you can see it turns blue. When something turns blue it means that we open up a bracket, it means that Amy Broker recognizes it and when we open up that bracket it shows us what Amy Broker is is looking for as well. So that's, um, it's looking for an array, so in other words a number, you know, ours is the closing price usually and the range is 170 is what we're looking for. So that's that's just a basic moving average there. Before we get into that, let's do the um, let's do the 10% above the closing price. What will we we can call it anything we like. We can call it percent above. That's what I'm going to call it personally. And if I can spell it correctly, there we go. Now again, because we're creating an object or we're creating an array we can call it anything we like. That's just what I'm going to call it to keep it simple and you know just for simplicity's sake. So percent above equals um, it'll be the closing price plus the whoop the closing price multiplied by 0 0.1. So in other words 0 0.10 even if you want to and finish it off with a semicolon. So what we're doing there is we're getting a number that is the it's 10% of the closing price plus the closing price. So 110% of the closing price. So that will give us potentially if we turn that into a moving average that'll give us that upper channel there and that's exactly what we're looking for. So if we wanted to create that upper channel there we could call it um, moving average above and that would equal a moving average and as we know it turns blue so we open up our bracket we'll get rid of the rest of it and when we open up our bracket it's uh, it gives us what it's expecting it's expecting an array so 
instead of the closing price, we're going to use that array that we just set up there, which is percent above. Give, us our, give ourselves a comma, as, as it's asking for there as well, and our range will be 170. Close the bracket, finish it off with a semicolon there, and that's the line, fantastic. Um, let's do our regular moving average as well. We'll go moving av, oh, all one word of course, because we're creating an array or an object, and that'll just be a moving average. Open the bracket because it turns blue of the closing price, and 170, close it off with a semicolon at the end there as well. Very, very simple stuff. So that's that's pretty simple at the moment. That will give us our top channel and our, our middle channel. And that's exactly what we're looking for. We can set up some buy and sell rules. And when we type in buy and when we type in sell, as you can see, it turns bold. So that means that Emmy Broker recognizes it as well, and which, you know, that's what we're looking for. So buy will equal, um, it'll be a close greater than or equal to um, that array that we just set up, which is moving average above. Close it off with a semicolon, and that's our buy signal. Now, to sell, what do we want? A close below the middle channel there, which is just our 170 day moving average. So that is a close less than or equal to moving av. And what was moving av? That's this one here. So that's our moving average of the closing price over the last 170 days. So very, very simple stuff. That will give us our basic buy and sell rules. Just really quickly, what we need to do as well is set up our position sizing. So um, well, I've got a different video on that as well. And as you can see, if I type in set option, uh, it turns blue. That means that Emmy Broker recognizes it and we open up our bracket. So what I'm just doing is setting our max open positions. And again, I have a different video on setting up your setting up your um, position sizing as well. So feel free, you know, check it out. It, it'll explain it in more detail. Um, and what else do I want? Set position size, most likely. Again, it turns blue. We open up a bracket. It tells us what we want. We want five SPS percent of equity because that's what it recommends. Close it off with a semicolon, and we've got the basis of our uh, of our trading system. Now there is one more thing that we're going to add to this trading system, and that is an index filter. But first of all, let's just see how it performs. So we'll save this as the amazing long-term system of awesomeness, <laughs> or you could save it as something a little more practical, like moving average channel, for example. Um, but that's basically what I'm going to use there. Close it down, go to analysis and old automatic analysis. Now let's have a look. Um, obviously, if you're using a filter, um, you can set up a watch list. I've got a watch list of the top 200 stocks um, on the All Ordinaries Down Under Australia. That's where I personally trade. So that's the watch list that I personally use. You could use the, the S&P 500 list or the FTSE list or whatever it is that you prefer. Um, you know, wherever you're actually trading from, whatever market you're trading, that's what you, know, that's what you should really test it on. Um, testing the range from 2000 to today, so the last 13 years. I'll just pick the one that we've just saved here. So the amazing long-term system of awesomeness. Open that up right there. Very simple stuff. And click back test. Now that will give us our results. To get the results in a, in a really nice format, we just click report. And here we go. So what we're looking at here is, um, first of all, we look at, you know, we look at a few things. The annual return, obviously. 20% per annum on average over the last 13 years. So that's a fairly solid return. Um, what we're also looking for is things like the system drawdown. So again, this is where we need to add a few things to make this a little bit more feasible. The maximum system drawdown, at one point it was nearly 50%. And also, it only wins 30% of the time. So, in other words, only 3 out of 10 trades. If we look at the actual equity curve, as you can see, here in 2008, 
was when it had its big, big drawdown. So obviously it did not handle the bear market very well. And that's why we're going to add that index filter as well. Um, and here's our drawdown chart. As you can see, nearly 50% drawdown. So while it has some good results, you know, it's obviously over the long term, it's returning 20% per annum, which is a pretty stellar result. Um, it still does have some some pretty big flaws because no one would, would be able to really trade a system that has a 50% drawdown, they'd go crazy, and also um, only winning 30% of the time, um, that would be very hard to stick to as well, very, very hard. So let's add our index filter and um, and then we'll just be able to, to get a bit more results on this hopefully a bit better results as well. So to again, I have a different video on um, on setting up an index filter. And basically what we're doing is, um, is adding a foreign ticker. As you can see, I type in foreign here. It turns blue so Emmy Broker recognizes it. Um, we open up the bracket and it tells us what it's expecting. What I'm going to do is use the all ordinaries because that's the index that I'm basing my benchmark on. Um, that's the main index down under Australia. Again, if you're in America, you would use the S&P 500. If you're in Europe, maybe the FTSE or the Stocks 50 or whatever it is that you prefer. Um, using the closing price. And again, because it's telling us that it wants these in inverted commas, I'm putting them in inverted commas as well. And then fix up true. Uh, that's just because that's what it recommends as well. Um, so yeah, sometimes you don't need to ask any more questions because it will actually tell you what it's expecting. Um, then index moving average. Um, again, we could call these things anything that we want because they're our arrays. We're actually setting them up. So, you know, it, it's really up to you. I'm just going to call it something very simple. Now, index moving average will be a close. No, no. Yes, it will be the index, which we've just set up as the all ordinaries. So that's index there index here. I want the index to be greater than or equal to the moving average. And again, it turns blue. So we open up our bracket, it tells us what we want. Moving average of the index closing price, which is just our array that we set up. That's our array, closing price of the index. And a 100 day moving average, what do you reckon? How about that? Just something very, very simple, just so that we know that the market is that the overall market is heading up at the same time. So then we add that to our buy signal. To do that, we just type in and, and as you can see, it turns bold. So that means that Amy Broker recognizes that as well. So that's exactly what we want. So we want and index moving average, which is the one that we've just set up as the index being greater than or equal to the moving average of the index of the last 100 days. And uh, yeah, so pretty simple, really. When you get down to it, when you sort of break it down, it's very, very simple. We'll save that, so that way that's saved. Close that down. We've still got it, uh, got it selected there. And let's do another back test, and then click on report. So now we've got, we'll bring this one over here, just so that uh, we've got the second one over here. And we'll get our first one over here as well. So what we're looking at now, is it actually improves our winners. So now it's winning 41 to 42% of the time. So that's a 10% improvement, which is very, very good. Um, also, the annual return has improved to 24%, over 20% there as well. Now let's have a quick look at the equity curve. And what we're looking at here, there we go. So as you can see with our previous one, it turned $50,000 into six hundred thousand dollars over the last thirteen years, so that's you know that's a decent return, still a very very you know decent return. What we're looking at with when we add the index filter, and as you can see, that drawdown during two thousand and eight definitely was not so bad, and the drawdown was limited to twenty five to twenty eight percent instead of fifty percent, so that's really really good. Um, you know, well, a lot better anyway. Still, it, would be, it wouldn't be easy to stomach, but, you know, it's definitely better. And overall, it turned $50,000 into just under, or over, it went around that million dollar mark until just recently. So that's, you know, that would be a very happy result for a lot of people over, over 13 years, um, just for long-term investing. You know, very, 
very low maintenance sort of investing. Um, and the only caveat would be that it would be hard to stick to this particular system because it has a low, you know, a relatively low winning percent uh, of 41% or 42%. So some people would find that very hard to stick to. Now, if, you know, obviously with this, it's just an idea. Don't, I would not recommend using it in your own um, trading unless you've tested it thoroughly and you're actually happy with this particular system. What I would do if I were you as well is test it on out of sample data. And that means I've tested it over here just between 2000 and 2013. If you wanted to test it on out of sample data, Test it on the 10 years before, you know, test it on 1990 to 2000. Uh, also test it on a different universe of stocks, test it on the top 100, test it on the all ordinaries. I've tested it on the top 200 ASX down under Australia. Um, and, you know, maybe tweak a few things and it might work better for your market on the S&P 500 or on the FTSE or wherever it is that you happen to be trading. But those two returns um, seem to work very well for a, you know, for a long-term trading system with, um, with, you know, basically very fairly low maintenance based on that. So I hope that has helped you in some small way. Uh, you know, again, if it has helped, just swing me an email or a message or a comment below the video or visit my site at asxmarketwatch.com. And um, yeah, you know, just helping out you guys, trying to come up with ideas for your own particular trading systems and, um, you know, and get the goods. Apart from that, have a great week, everybody. I'll see you in the next video. Happy trending until then. Bye for now.